So today something different. I'm trying a full face of Jones Road Beauty. This is a brand I'm not familiar with. I've only tried them once and that's because I literally just bought all of this and tried it once recently. So this will be my second time trying all of this on. I've been so curious to see will Jones Road just be a slippery greasy mess on me or will it really work? I've got mature combination skin and a slightly oily t-zone so I've always wondered will this just slide off and look terrible or will it be really complimentary because I hear mixed reviews on this some saying that it's perfect for my skin type and some saying it isn't so let's dive right into a full face of this brand and find out today I've got all of these products here to try with you today can't wait to get started and if you're new here hi my name's Hannah I'm 47 I'm not a professional just somebody who loves beauty and loves everything to do with makeup and here on my channel I like to test out new products or review my favorites or test out anything that works for mature skin which is obviously something that I need to think about these days being 47 and as I said I've got combination skin which is fair to light and I've got neutral slash cool undertones if that's helpful anyway that's enough about me, let's get on to this video. So because I'm trying on a full face, I don't want to turn this into a one hour video, I won't be going into great depth on the products themselves. So if you do want any information about the products I'm trying today, please do message me um, below or DM me on my Instagram. I'm happy to give you any information I can. So I will just whiz through these and try them on because it, like, as I said, if I go into great depth now, it will be a super lengthy video. So I have here pretty much everything apart from the eyebrows, so I'll go through each one. So I think I've got everything from base to lips, so I won't be using any other products apart from just something tweaky at the end, which you'll find out later. I've got my SPF on at the moment, but what I have done, I've avoided putting too much skincare on because this will be layer upon layer of very hydrating products balmy products so I don't want them to slide off so all I've got on is my SPF which does have a bit of hyaluronic acid in and I've got a little bit of my eye cream on and I also put my mattifying primer in my t-zone which for me is probably essential with a product like this so that's the best way for me to test this and I think I will do an eight hour check-in for you so you can see how this is looking and whether I certainly get greases coming through here not so much when I use my Danessa Myricks serum which really does help so it's interesting to see with such balmy products just what this area will look like in eight hours so I'll definitely do that check-in for you so let's get started now with foundation so I've got here what the foundation this is £42 and I've got mine in fair. So you get 35 grams of product. The first thing I thought when I saw this is it looks way too dark for fair. But when I applied it, I wasn't actually that upset about it. So you'll see in a minute. It comes with this cap because you can pretty much get a good few applications off this cap, which is what I'll be doing now. So it says to apply this best with fingers. So that's what I will do. So I did think when I put this on, it looks a bit like I'm applying a tan. I thought, whoa, this is going to be way too dark on me. So that's all I'm going to put on for now. And I'm just going to literally rub this in with my fingers. And you'll see how it sort of shears out. And it isn't too bad for my skin tone. It's got quite a strong herby smell, this one. It reminds me a little bit of the Elemis Cleanser Balm, if you're familiar with that. The scent, I mean, when I say it's, <laughs> it reminds me of the Elemis Cleanser Balm, I don't mean the texture. So this is giving me a very light sheer coverage, it's certainly not giving me much coverage at all. I'm just going to put a little bit more here to see if I can build up a bit of coverage in these areas. I'm not really expecting to be able to build this in all honesty. So it just feels like I've applied a very light moisturiser. That's how I would describe it. It's not like a heavy 
it's not sitting heavily on the surface of my skin it's not like a really thick moisturizer it's giving me a really nice shine and glow as you can see which I would I do like the way it looks but I definitely would like to bring that down with powder later it's not really giving me much coverage it has evened out my skin tone a bit if I compare this to something like the Lisa Eldridge skin tint for instance you would see no redness around my nose area after applying that but with this it's it has really reduced it quite a bit but not enough for me to think it's given me the coverage I would like if I'm being honest but that's where the concealer comes in and so for the concealer I've got the face pencil something very different I've only used a pencil concealer once before and I didn't get on that well with it so this one is in shade 5 and 1 and it retails for £24 each so I'll start with shade 5 I've got eye cream on which I think from using this the first time is pretty essential because it is quite thick and drying this one it's not really creamy, it's nothing like the balm but once you've got eye cream on you can actually sweep it across the eyes I think if you didn't have any sort of eye cream on it would probably drag a bit I'm doing one eye at a time because it's quite dry and I don't want it to dry down I'm using my A506 from BK Beauty here I think it also helps if you've got the foundation on as well because as it meets with that it just helps to blend it out. This is not something I would try to use ever on dry skin but I think together they do work quite well. So this doesn't give me a strong coverage either, I'd say this is more of a light coverage but I do think looking at my two eyes there that it has cancelled out the purple I get in my corner there which is why I've gone for shade 5 for this area and you can see on the eyelid how much more red this side is compared with the side I've done so this is again giving light coverage it's not giving light to medium anyway but it's very for me this is a, a reasonable level of coverage and this is all I really want I don't like to have too full coverage when it comes to concealer and I do think that this sits actually really well under my eyes now I have seen reviews saying that this concealer doesn't sit well under the eyes but for me it's the second time trying it but it's going in very nicely I think the key thing is that hydration underneath before applying so I think we would see a very different story if I was going in on dry skin and I would be giving this a terrible review now it is starting to peel a little bit there in the corner this is always my problem, I always. But I think, yeah, it's rubbing in. It just probably needs time to warm up to the skin. And using the same shade, I'm going to use this in the places where I'd like a bit more coverage. I'm going to use the lighter shade more as a brightener. So I'm going to try and cover up some of these sort of sunspots and where I've got a bit of redness here. This is something I did actually think was pretty effective. You see it's definitely given me more coverage there. So this is where this super light coverage I'm getting from the foundation is not too much of a problem if you're using it with this pencil. And the whole concept of Jones Road Beauty is it's clean beauty, it's easy, it's quick. You're not looking for that sort of full glam face, very similar to the Merit Beauty. So for me, I think that's exactly what it's giving me. I'm quite happy with that coverage now, actually. I'm putting this on top of the foundation. Really is very easy. Just, just pat it in. I would never mm. rub it because that will probably just move the foundation from beneath. Just patting that in really does work very well. So easy as well. This is a very, very easy base. And now going in with shade 1, which I'll use more as a brightener. And put this a bit on my chin and a bit up here. And this area of the nose, where I'd like to probably get rid of a bit more redness as well. And take it down the middle of the nose as well. Just blends out so easily. Very, very, very easy to work with. And I now think my nose area is looking a lot better. So for me, using the two together gives me a nice 
not the perfect base, not a, I'm going out looking my best for a really special event base, but for an everyday pretty base, I do really like this. I think I think it's really good actually. I'm very happy with the way this is looking. Another thing I think I could use this number one for is actually putting it in the waterline because I do like to brighten the waterline with a white pencil. So I'm going to try this here in the waterline. Yeah, I think it works quite nicely for that. Maybe could have tried the shade five because it's a little bit white. I'd like to go slightly off white when I'm brightening in the waterline. But anyway, definitely works for that. So it's got that multi-purpose as well. So I bought this multi-purpose Jones Road brush, which is supposed to be basically used for everything. And funnily enough, it's called the Everything Brush. So I'm now going to use this when I'm applying the rest of my products. This is quite a densely packed, round-tipped brush. So now I'm going to go in with these bronzing drops, and I've got these, this is a gel bronzer actually, and this is in the shade light, and this was £32. Now this can be squeezed straight onto the face, but I don't know if I'm going to like doing that. We'll see. I, I always feel nervous doing this because I don't want it pouring down my neck or onto my clothes. I don't know whether I want to do this. Ah, oh, there we go. It wasn't too bad. But personally, I would rather put it on the back of my hand and not do it like that. So now I'm just going to start applying in all the areas I want a bit of bronzer. So as you can see, this just blends in super easy. It's like the foundation almost absorbs it. They just meet each other and they just blend in together. They melt together. Now this brush is so dense that I feel like if I sweep across my face with it, I'm going to just remove everything off my face because the balm is still sitting quite wet on the surface so I'm going to switch to a sponge here. Now what I can say straight away is this has just removed all of the concealer. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, I had these little red dots which I covered with concealer and applying that has just taken it all off and I can also see a bit of red coming through on my cheeks. So applying that gel bronzer has literally just taken off all the coverage. So, and that was with the sponge and the brush. So it's given me a nice bit of colour, but it's removed the product from underneath. So I'm not really a fan of that. I think I'll go back in with the pencil in all the areas and I'll try applying it a different way to see if I can get this to work better. So I've put the coverage back on now with that and I'm going to put some of this bronzing gel on the back of my hand instead. It's quite a thick gel this, if you look. It's not pouring down my hand at all. Please ignore this. I was trying out a lip stain yesterday and clearly it's a very good lip stain because it hasn't come off even with my makeup remover. I'm going to dab the sponge into the bronzing drops on the back of my hand and then take it on like this and see if that's... I think that applies it better, doesn't it? Yeah. I still feel like it removes though. No, I'm just not a fan of that at all. I think my base looked quite nice until I put the bronzing drops on. And now it is getting super glowy. I mean, look at the shine on my face. But I will be powdering down. There's no way on earth I would wear this like this. No, <laughs> it's way too glowy. And I can, I can just see all my pigmentation coming through. It's just taken the base off. So for me, this the bronzing gel is a disaster. Using a contour brush, I'm going to take a bit of the bronzing gel, which I'm actually dreading now, and take it down the nose to see if I can get a bit of a contour with it. Probably not something it's intended for, to be fair but I'm trying to limit the products by not dipping into my other makeup today. So I'm trying to see if I can do all the things that I would like to do with these. I would definitely prefer to have gone in now with a powder and then a bronzing powder at this point. The base look nice and I don't really feel the bronzing gel 
has done anything but made everything a bit worse. I think it worked for contour, that's not too bad actually. So now on to the blush and this is something that says it can be used all over the face but because of the shade there's no way I would use this all over the face and this is the Miracle Balm Pinched Cheeks and this one is Rose Emotion, it's got a bit of a shimmer in and this is the product that is, is what swayed me into trying Jones Road because I was very much on the fence about trying this makeup as I said at the beginning of the video but when I saw this I just loved the look of it and I thought okay but I can't try this without everything else and that's why I went all in so this was the one that really sold it to me now it does say that the way to apply this you should never just go around the top like this because you'll not get much on your finger or on your spatula because that's the other way they say to apply it is by using a little spatula so you need to push your finger or your spatula into the product so you get underneath break the surface and then you get the colour and the impact you need so it's important to know that because I think a lot of people just tend to swipe over the top with these and think they're terrible so you can see here with my first attempt I went quite deeply into the product and when you do that you get so much more on your finger as you can see there so I'm now going to just pat this into my blush areas. I'm a bit nervous to use this brush because it just seems to take everything off. Anyway, I think it's working for that. I think I'll go back in with a spatula. It's very, very sheer this, so you can pretty much be very, very generous. You can apply an awful lot without worrying too much because you can see how the second layer here very natural actually, very very natural, which is something I do like. I don't like a lot of blush and I do like to try and keep my blush colour looking natural so I'd actually be quite happy with that for a natural look. I'll just put a bit more on just so you can see if it can be built up a bit more. So there it is built up a little bit more. I've got to say I'm really not loving this brush, it's not soft on my skin, it's quite prickly. I wouldn't recommend using this brush. Now I'm trying to apply it here and as you can see it's almost like coming off as putty. So I think what you need to do is you can't just apply it directly from spatula because look it's like a sort of thick putty. I think you might need to warm this up a little bit on your fingers maybe and then tap it like that. So much better. So directly from spatula doesn't work but that works so much better. It's a lot thicker than the foundation, it's like I said almost putty like. Thick paste slash putty I'd, I'd describe it as. But when you rub it between your fingers it does melt into a balm similar to the foundation. And I think from melting it onto my fingers it's applied much better on this side actually than on that side. So that's definitely the way to go. I think really warm it up. And I'll do it the same on both sides. There you can see how much more colour you can get doing that as well. I will be calming this down but I'll go in with the sponge now. So there we have the blusher. I do still think that every product I apply just seems to bring my pigmentation through more so I just think these products are just extremely lightweight so I don't think you're going to get anything like the coverage you might be looking for if you've got pigmentation so when this is supposed to be good for mature skin it does make me wonder because obviously as we mature we have more pigmentation we have more age spots so whilst this is very friendly as in it's great for my pores and my lines they're not being um, emphasized it's sitting beautifully it doesn't cake it's very easy it's very moisturizing so it's not drying which is all tick 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 for mature skin but what it's not doing is it's not helping me to hide any pigmentation whatsoever so if you do have a lot that you need to cover I think that you'll never really get very far with this like if I was to go in now with the concealer it's going to conceal over the red so I don't really want to take away the blush by putting concealer on top and that would then be my third application of concealer so I'm not prepared to do that 
So this is really the finished effect. So this is a very, a very natural look. Okay, this is very, very natural, definitely, but it's definitely not giving me any sort of coverage. And if anything, I think it's emphasizing things like all the little bit of freckles and pigmentation I've got on my skin. So these are things that I don't personally want on display. I do wear makeup to hide them. Some people might not. I'm not saying you need to at all. That's just total personal preference. But I do think this gives me a very nice, natural, healthy glow. So at the moment, this is a very easy, natural day look. This is not a glam look, which is probably my preference, which is why I'm saying that. So it really depends on what you're looking for. But it sits beautifully on my skin. And like I said, no caking, but it, it really is not giving me any sort of coverage. And now for my highlighter, I've got this Shimmer Pink Face Oil, I think it's described as, yes. And this is in the shade Opal, and this costs £34. So this one actually comes in a pump. So if I pump this onto the back of my hand, so that's how this one looks. Again, a bit like with the bronze gel, it's not really, really runny, it's not pouring down my hand. So this is how it looks rubbed out, it's very pretty actually. This could probably be used on the eyes as well, I would imagine. So now I'm going to tap this here. It's extremely light now as I tap it here. It does seem quite watery, even though when it pumped out it didn't look it. It is an oil. It's described as an oil. So this gives a very, very sheer glow. It's not massively shimmery. I'd say this is a mature skin friendly option, yeah definitely. I don't think that's emphasising texture actually at all in the way that powder highlights do. Yeah that is quite pretty that one. But I have to be honest, my whole face is at the moment feeling very greasy and so are my hands from applying this. It's, it's quite hard to get off as well. I'm going to try a little bit down the centre of my nose. Very, very easy to apply. Like all of these products really, you can just tap things on with your fingers or a brush and very, very easy. Now I need to take down this shine and I need to feel less greasy. I mean, certainly if I went on with my day, I would spend the whole day with my hair stuck on my face because <laughs> this is way too greasy. So I now need to powder. So this is called the Tinted Face Powder, but I actually got it in the shade Untinted. So this is the Untinted Tinted Face Powder, and this was £27. Now the first time I tried this, it had a terrible caking effect, and I had to take it off even, it was so bad, and use different powder. So what I'm going to do today is apply it with a brush, not a puff, because that's I used a puff last time. But I'm going to do one side of my face with this, and one side of my face using my Givenchy Prisma Libra powder, which is a powder I really get on very well with, because I want to see if this caking is purely down to the powder, or is it down to everything on the surface of my skin? Is it because it's so greasy and balmy that the powder really just cakes on it? So that's what I want to see. So the powder comes in a pot like this, so I can just tip a little bit into the lid, I'll just use a puff now to go back under my eyes and make sure that everything is pressed in before I attempt this on my eye. And the concealer is now starting to sit in the lines here. I don't know if it'll come up on camera. It's hard to see things like this. There. Anyway, I'm pushing it in as much as I can. It's improved a little bit from pushing it in, but I think I've probably removed a little bit of the concealer there. So. It is still sinking into lines. Now I'm using this brush here, which is the Nikki LaRose N14 from BK Beauty. And I'm going to tap the powder on the back of my hand. And now just push this in. I've been using this brush for powders that have been causing me problems because I find that using this brush is really so much better under the eye. If I use a powder that's looking drying or starting to sink into lines, emphasising lines. Using this brush to apply powders around the eyes has made a huge difference. So that has actually sat down 
very nicely at the moment. Yeah, I really like that actually. So now I'll do the same with my Givenchy Prisme Libra. I'm quite amazed, you know. I actually think they both look the same. Might even have a little bit more blurring on this side. <laughs> I don't know what's happening there. I really didn't like this palette the first time I tried it. I think I will apply it with this brush all over the face and use no puff. So but I do need it all over because I need to get rid of this glow. So I'm just going to pat it gently. You can see how much this is really helping to take down the shine. So some might say this defeats the object of the makeup here because it's very much about radiance and shine. But I know with something this balmy that the radiance will come through during the day but hopefully without feeling greasy which is what I personally need and want from my makeup. A little bit of radiance coming through but no greasy feel to the surface of my skin. So there we are, look at the difference now between the powdered side and the non-powdered side. Very big difference. And at the moment there's no signs of it sitting badly on the surface of my skin. So maybe last time I just over applied the powder by using the puff. So we'll see how it settles because it did actually it didn't happen instantly last time. So I'm using the Givenchy Prisme Libra on this side. So I think they've both done a good job actually. I can see straight away that the Givenchy is definitely giving me more of that blurred effect which I get. And these, this area here is where I have more pores and texture that show up. And you can see on this side, I don't know if it'll come up on camera because this is very minute detail to be fair, but I can definitely see more texture there. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. But I'm not unhappy with the, the way this powder is sitting. I can still feel quite a lot of stickiness. I can see why I over applied last time because I think all those layers of balm, even with the powder, I think oh, I need to add a bit more. I think I will take a little bit more on a fluffy brush and just go around like this until I get to the point where I don't think it feels sticky. This might seem like a lot of powder but I, ha I can't have my hair sticking onto my face all day. I just I can't have that. So. This is the minimum amount I need to apply. So I did need to go in for more. So we'll find out if that starts to sit badly on the surface of the skin. And, and I am already seeing signs of that happening exactly like last time. So I don't know if you can see this on camera. I'll try and show you close up here. Can you see this area there? It's almost like you can see little dots of cakey powder sitting where it's landed on the balm area where I probably had the most balm. Whereas on the Givenchy side, that's not happened at all. So that's answered my question actually about this powder. So I'd be a lot happier with my final look if I didn't use the powder. I know that for sure because the first time I tried this, I was quite happy with the way it looked until the powder. So definitely the powder is a no for me. And I don't know why it doesn't work with the product, seeing as I am using a Jones Road powder, but it, it doesn't. For me it definitely doesn't. I'd love to know if any of you watching this are Jones Road fans and you've tried this powder. Does it work for you? Is it just me? Is there something I could have done differently to stop this happening? But yeah, it's not working for me. Although it has worked really well under the eye. So <laughs> it does work in that area. But I think once it meets the blush and bronzer area of the face, it doesn't seem to mix very well with those products. So now on to eyes, and I will now be going into another product just to quickly put some colour into the crease. So I'll be using my trusty Viseart Matte Palette here, and just put a little bit of brown into the crease. I'm using my Sonia G T3 brush here. I'm going to keep this really simple. I've got one eyeshadow shade that I want to show you today. I do actually have two products. I'll show you them both, but I'm not sure if I can put them to, to put the two together. And from testing them, there's one that really stood out for me. So that's the one I want to show you today. 
So I've put that into the crease if you're interested. I used this brown and I went in with the white underneath the brow and a little tiny bit of the white in the inner corner. So I've left my whole lid clear to show you a sort of one and done. I say one and done, but I like to do this first. You could do this with a bronzer. You don't necessarily need to reach for a brown eyeshadow. So if you've got a bronzer, that would be fine too. This is the Best Eyeshadow Rose Gold Shimmer and it's £24. This I apply with my finger. I'm going to show you a swatch of it first. And it's so pretty. I really do like this. And they have a number of these shades. This is the one that appealed to me the most. And I think this one is a shade that would go with most looks. And probably, look at that, and probably be popular with everybody because it really is lovely it is emphasizing my lines though i can tell you that straight away so you do need to take that into account because it's almost like metallic but i do find when it's like this once you've added your eyeliner and mascara that doesn't bother me but it really is emphasizing lines quite a lot I'm going to go slightly back into the white of that Busy Art palette and just start to take this up a little bit. So now on to the eyeliner and I've got something called the Best Pencil it's called and this is in shade brown and this costs £22 yeah and this is one that needs to be sharpened. So I've got at the moment a bit of brown powder under the eye. I'll take this to line closer to the lash line it's going on nicely it's quite creamy it's not dragging you can see there for the wing it came up very nicely it's very easy to work with now bringing it to tight line here into the eyelashes so the other eye product i got is called just a sec and i've got this in the shade linen and i'll show you this I might put a tiny bit in the centre of my eye just to show you, but I don't, I wouldn't actually touch this eye look because I love this eye look. I really, really love this eye look, so I would not want to touch this. But I wanted to try this because it's completely different. It's like a sort of, it is a cream, it's like a thick paste cream. If I put some on the back of my hand, I've still got a bit of the eyeshadow over here so please ignore that along with my lip stain so here is there so you can see this gives a really nice shimmer now my thinking with this is it could have been used it's just it's very no oh, I don't know I was thinking use it underneath the eyebrow but it's just so wet and oily I'll use my Sonia G pencil brush I think I put some under the brow That's giving quite a strong shimmer actually. Now I could put a little bit of this in the centre of my eyelid. I don't know how much it will show up, if at all. Oh yeah, you can see it actually. I didn't really want to touch this eye look like I said, but I just want to see if we can work these together, whether this creamy product works with these shadows, because my thinking when I bought it was I could use the two together. I think they do work together. So that's giving me a pop of light in the middle. Anyway, I need to stop fiddling now because I do not want to change this eye look. So I'll just put my mascara on. So I've got my mascara on because I didn't have a Jones Road one. And now I'm going to go in with a lip pencil. This lip pencil is mauve shade and it was £21. This is one you need to sharpen. And straight away very creamy gliding on very nicely and I've got a lip tint in nude mauve as well very moisturizing instantly feels like I'm applying a sort of lip balm so yeah that is really nice actually and I quite like the case so I think it's a really a nice case <laughs> so yeah 
very comfortable. Definitely worth trying more of these, I think. Both lip liner and the lip tint. It's called a lip tint, but it's nothing like a lip tint. It's like a moisturising lipstick. It's a little bit like the Charlotte Tilbury Kissing lipstick, but even more moisturising. I'm not sure why it's called a lip tint. Yeah, I really like that. So there's my finished look using a full face pretty much of Jones Road. And you can probably tell from the way I've applied this and reacted that I'm not overly happy with the base. Definitely looking in my magnification mirror, the powder is not sitting nicely at all on this side. It looks cakey around here and it's sitting in cakey dots all around the cheek area there. Whereas where I use the Givenchy Prisme Libre setting powder on this side, I don't have that caking hardly at all. Maybe a tiny little bit in the corner of my nose there, which happens with lots of products, so I can't really say that's to do with this foundation. So, I mean, for a foundation, it's probably given me the least amount of coverage ever, but I think I was really happy, actually, with these pencils. That's something I'm going to put into my regular rotation and experiment more with because I think the base I got when I added these pencils was actually quite good and I think both of these will be good for sort of spot concealing certain areas which it did originally and now it hasn't because the extra products has basically removed it so I'd like to try this under um, foundations that I use more regularly and maybe underneath a powder foundation as well this could be really good I like the idea of using them to brighten the waterline and I quite like them under the eye. I'm not convinced fully because that side did look a bit dodgy. It was quite good on the eyelid. So I'll definitely practice more with these, but certainly for the spot concealing, these could be excellent go to. So I will give you an update if I'm still using these in my end of month review, even though these aren't new products, but I would like to give you an update on whether these are still useful to me. And the other products that have stood out for me, no surprise, is the eyeshadow. This eyeshadow here, which I've got in the shade Rose Gold. As you know, I absolutely love this. I mean, how beautiful is this? Very easy to apply, very, very easy and just stunning. So this was the standout product from the entire thing that I've tried today. I also really, really loved the um, eyeliner pen. I think that, that glided on beautifully. So that's in brown, super easy to apply, really creamy. It'll be interesting with my eight hour check-in to see if this is still here. But yeah, I absolutely love the eye look, love it. And the lip pencil, beautiful. I can't fault it at all. This is a formula I absolutely love. So I would recommend trying any of these lip pencils. I think it's really, really a very good formula. Again, reliability, we'll see if any of this is lasting. I mean, eight hours is a little bit of an ask, but I can at least tell you in my eight hour check-in how long this lasted and if it completely vanished. But I know after eight hours with my Charlotte Tilbury, you can actually still see the outline of a, li of a lip liner. So we'll see if this one's got that sort of longevity. And the lipstick, really comfortable, really pretty very simple shade I've gone for but that's because I was going for this simple look I thought it was better but I definitely would like to try more shades of these I think it's a really nice one I think it's a lovely one to take in your handbag nice and sleek nice packaging very very comfortable on the lips and also not exaggerating lines in fact it's blurring them a little bit so really nice formula very very nice so definitely worth checking out this lip tint it was called but as I said it's more of a lipstick and the powder, as we know, a complete fail really. It did work very nicely under the eyes, but for the second time running, no matter how I apply this, it does not sit well on top of the Jones Road products. And then everything else, foundation, bronzing drops, the balm, the one I was so excited by when I saw it. It is quite nice, but it just, I mean, can you see it? Can you see it on my face now? I don't really see it much and what I am seeing which I don't like at all is all of the marks on my skin that all my makeup would normally be concealing. I felt like my base went on nicely at first as we know and then as I applied the bronzing gel and then the um, flushed, flushed cheek is it called flushed cheek? Pinched cheek? Pinched cheek sorry. On top it just seemed to be removing things whether I used brush, finger, sponge. It just 
you can't see it and it just removed the base so I'm not impressed for me with the bronzing gel or the pinched cheek balm I'm not totally dismissing the what the foundation I think it's okay as a base with as long as I'm using the um, concealer in lots of areas I did like that base so maybe I could try that's something I will try is that base again with other products what I'd love to do now is go in with my powder products and put some bronzer and blush on but I will because I just feel like I've got no color on my face really but I will avoid doing that because I want to show you how this all looks after eight hours so you can get an idea but at the moment I'd say all this has done is given me a base I've put the powder on top but it's given me a reasonable base to start with my powders bronzer blush and even a bit more highlight the highlights nice but nothing major I mean you can see it it is a very natural it really is what you what do you prefer but then I have used lots of clean natural beauty products I haven't really showed you on the channel I, I need to do a merit beauty review for you but I know when I wear merit beauty I don't have these problems with things moving and I definitely feel happier with the finished result so at the moment I'm not overly happy with with this with these base products for me I'd love to know what you think of how they applied did, did you think they looked good did you think that you'd wear them like this it really is personal choice as well and how much coverage you're looking for but for me it's not giving me that and I just I don't see the point of a product if it's going to remove everything from underneath and then pretty much disappear because the pink is just gone I mean you can see a little bit of the bronzing gel otherwise I would look really pale but it's just okay that's that's about all I'd say about it it's just okay and I certainly would not be repurchasing the foundation or the blush or the bronze or the highlight but I would buy all of these eyeshadows in a heartbeat I would buy these eyeliners and I'd buy the lip and the lip liner and the lipstick so some hits, some misses, but the base is definitely, unfortunately, a miss for me. But I will check in in eight hours so you can see how this has stood up, so I'll see you then. So it's been over eight hours. In fact, it's coming up to nine hours because I nearly forgot to do this video. So excuse the state of me right now. So this is how it's looking, and I don't think it's really changed much at all. So it's quite a positive check-in, really. I have lost... Um, coverage on my chin because it's now gone a bit red but the rest of my face looks exactly the same so powder and I added setting spray after I finished the video so those two things have locked everything in my eyes have stayed exactly the same my eyeliner hasn't shifted and the lip liner it's not 100% still there but it's mostly still there I'd say it's as still there as I would get from a Charlotte Tilbury can you see the line there that is really impressive considering I've eaten all my meals and had loads of different drinks today so the only thing I would need to do to really bring this look back together would be lipstick and I'm almost looking like I did nine hours ago there's not much change here whatsoever so the coverage is still not very good and looking in mirrors I can see I don't know if you can see where the bronzer almost collected at the top I just really didn't like that bronzer at all it just seemed to vanish off my actual face but collected in the edges here I just really did not get on very well with that and I have felt very pale all day like I'm missing an awful lot of colour I would have really liked to have gone in with powders I just felt quite grey looking to be honest so I mean I did think afterwards I could have gone in with this here and maybe dabbed a bit on top to bring back a bit of the colour that I lost because obviously powdering it down does that. Now obviously that's immediately given me a little bit of rosiness to my cheeks which is an option if you feel like you want to powder down and you've lost too much colour. So if, if you see there straight away just doing that with my fingers and this is going straight on top of the powder which shows that these products are quite versatile that is an option but the reason I didn't really think of doing that was I just thought it'll end up being sticky again but maybe that much doesn't feel too sticky actually certainly not sticky, in, no it's not too bad okay so maybe that's what I should have done nine hours ago whether that, I don't think that would last nine hours because I don't want to powder over that because it'll disappear again but there we are I could have had more colour all day. <laughs> there we are. 
So my overall thoughts of this I've pretty much already said so I'm not going to go over it all again. So there's quite a lot of winners but quite a lot of losers in this roundup. So I hope this has been helpful to you and if you're a fan of Jones Road or someone thinking of, of dipping into this and trying it, I'd love to know which products you love or which products you don't love, which products you're thinking of trying. I really, really would because this is certainly not a brand that I personally want to give up on. I said it's a brand I'd like to work more on and try to find ways of using things differently because as we saw the base was good and then it went wrong but now adding this pink on top worked better maybe than having it beneath. So maybe that's the option. Maybe I should have gone with the foundation and concealer then powdered and maybe then put this over the top. Who knows? This, maybe there's lots of different ways to work this. I'm certainly not giving up on it, I will be trying it again, but some of the products like the eye and lip products were absolute winners, so I would happily, as I said, buy all of these eyeshadows because that is such a stunning one and done. So I'm definitely tempted to go back and get some more, I think I'll maybe wait for a sale if they have a sale and add a bit to this collection. So overall I'm quite happy, I've really enjoyed the experience, it's been very different and yeah I've really enjoyed it and I hope you have too and if you have enjoyed this video I'd really like it if you liked and subscribed and joined us here on my channel that would really make my day and if you're already subscribed thank you so much for returning and I hope to see all of you for my next video take care everybody bye